Good morning, Rangeli here. This is show number 107. Today is St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patty's Day to you. I have some Irish blood in me, not a lot, but some from my ancestors. My great grandfather was full blooded Irish. Anyway, with that aside, uh, we're going to take uh, six plums, cut them in half, take the pit out. And we're going to stuff the little belly button, as I call it, with red hots. I saw this while my brother showed me this on YouTube last year. I thought it was pretty interesting, but I think she used peaches. But I really don't like peaches, so... But I do love plums. And to get the pit out is kind of a pain. Just be patient, it'll pop out, just work your way around it. There we go. So what you do is you fill the little hole where the belly button, see right there, where the red hot. And then you wrap it in saran wrap and you put it in the fridge for overnight. So while I'm doing the rest of the little assembly here, before I put the red hots in and, and close them in the saran wrap, I'll restart the camera. Okay, and now we've found the one. Okay, so we all got them all in half, and we kind of gut it out the best we can. So it's going to be kind of hard with the gloves on. But three red hots, if you can fit them in there. It looks like only two is going to fit in there. So it must have been a peach. And you, what you do is you refrigerate them for 24 hours, well, you know, overnight. And it's supposed to make the fruit a little spicy. So, I thought that was pretty interesting to do a candy and fruit. So, this is the first time I'm trying it out too. So, I don't know. But I like the red meat uh, plum. The yellow is good too, but the red one is sweeter. And we had a plum tree in our backyard at the house, so that's why it was a red meat tree. And we're going to need a few more candies. I found the one that tried to get away. Yeah, we're going to need more. That one didn't even go on the hole. There's one, so we need four more here. Another red hot seat. Oh, well, we got five, so. No, I should have done that, I guess. <laughs> I guess I didn't get five. We'll get one more candy. Checking the time. Oh, we're doing good on time. Okay, so we'll take off our gloves. And what you do is you just put it in a on a plate or whatever. We're gonna use a little pan. In Spanish, we call it a zapata. I don't know what that means exactly, but it's a little baking pan and with a pepper towel to stop, you know, the cleanup would be easier. Now, let's see if we're going to have issues picking out the saran wrap. Oh, that hurt. So you get one. And of course, you wrap it up. No logic, right? I mean, logic. Um, I would say squeeze that too. And I'm going to turn it on its face down. And pretty much just do the same thing with all these. Stick them in the fridge for 24 hours. So 
that's eight. Uh, I just turned eight twelve. So, come on. I'll say about eight twenty. We don't want to make this slow, you know, just don't make it. I just like trying new things, although they're weird and stuff like that. You never know if it's going to taste good until you try it, right? I think actually it was the daughter of the lady that came up with the recipe and she was kind of young, I guess about maybe eight, nine, ten years old. Which I think it's pretty cool that somebody that young is wanting to make food and stuff like that. Like I said, I respect anybody that loves to cook or bake or both or whatever. Just oops. <laughs> See, but I tell you my show is that perfect? That's why I'm showing you how it really is behind the scenes and stuff like that. Not what you see on TV because you know they got good cameras to do editing, and I don't know how to do that with my phone yet. And um, for YouTube, I don't know how to do that, so that's why I say with my shows, what you see is what you get. If I'm doing this and I put a big old slice in my hand, well, that's not good, but you know, I'm not gonna edit it just so you think that I'm that per perfect because I'm not perfect and I doubt anybody is I mean there can be a course you know hey how did that candy get out of there no there's only one on that one I know I put three on that one just a time okay still being good so here we go Run out of this stuff. So we run out, not crying. Just wrap them in paper towel. Just don't want that refrigerator taste, you know. Sound like it was the last rip. Okay, so building that. Yeah, I'm growing. I'm not that well, I'll be easier this way. Usually, this doesn't give me problems, but for some reason. The little leprechauns are playing tricks on me or something today. Still doing good on time. I think we'll make it. Not with the saran wrap, I mean, but the time. Well, pretty much I would say that's dead. I have a uh, wax paper. I'm just gonna use a paper towel. Oh, I'm gonna throw my knife away. No big science on there. Candy face down with the flesh face down. Just like that. Same thing. Okay, I don't know what you call these. Then you just clean up what's too dirty, which is the 
thing that you have the candy in and the little pliable cutting board. You know, and just stick it in the fridge for 24 hours. Okay, well, that's our. So I'll be back to make a smoothie. All right. Happy St. Patty's Day again. Have a great morning. Okay, Frangali here again. We're gonna make my banana smoothie. Oh, I've got the yogurt. Okay, the time. No. Oh, the time's still going. So I'm gonna pause it. So. And I like bananas when they're kind of spotted with brown. The chunks in there. For some milk. This is two percent powdered milk. Okay, some vanilla. Some cinnamon. And like I said before, I usually put egg, but if it's for family and friends, I use uh, soap cream powder. I mean, you can buy those uh, packets at the store, but this is kind of a little bit better. Because you control the portion. And I usually, usually use Splenda. And what goes good with bananas? Strawberry. So strawberry yogurt. And this much protein powder. And like I said, it'll thicken. I don't know, they said that already, but it'll thicken, so put this on pause while I blend it up. I always have trouble with this thing. So, watch your space. Or use my frosted white coat. I haven't used that in a long time. Oh, bless. Not more than Refrigerate, but I'm gonna have some more after this. Stick this on there and mm, it's just like baby food of strawberry and bananas. Okay, well, enjoy your day again. Happy St. Patty's Day and have an enjoyable day until I make dinner.